When you go into a game with a great coach and a great game plan, you feel like you will prepare for anything that may come your way. With Love & Light Doula Agency, you will also feel like you have a great coach and game plan. Love & Light Doula Agency specializes in postpartum support, fertility support, labor support, and surrogacy consultations. Call 410-657-8767 today or visit the website loveandlightdoula.com to get started. That's 410-657-8767 and Love and light doula.com schedule your consultation today one last time 410-657-8767 l-o-v-e-a-n-d-l-i-g-h-t-b-o-u-l-a.com the views and opinions expressed on this show are those of the host and their guests they do not reflect the views or positions of our sponsors. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? You are listening to Sideline Talk. You tune in to Sideline Talk. I'm the humble beast. Shout out to my man, Tank. Coach Herb in the building. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Coach Tay in the building. Uh, what's up, girl? I don't see any place to be. Yes, sir. And if y'all could see really faint over there in the shadows, we got the guru in the shadows. He's gonna be on in a little bit to discuss the uh <laughs> the such oh here we go. And hey, we can't hear you. The sound off, y'all. Like your lights. Your BG and E <laughs> bill must be like five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he on he has never no lights. <laughs> 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 it's been like three years doing this. It's been <laughs> oh, two years. I've been in the dark the whole time. That's what's up, man. <laughs> we got we got to learn the game from Ro. But hey, man, big show plan for you guys. We got a little bit of uh, NBA draft coverage. I'm sorry, NBA playoff coverage. I enjoyed the playoffs this past weekend. Um, the start of it. We also got NFL draft coverage. We'll be talking about the best running backs in the draft and who they are. And, you know, if we get to it, some good fits with these type of backs. And also, we will be stepping into the war room. Seven-round mock live for the Baltimore Ravens. So before we get there, let's get to it. NBA playoffs. Some, the NBA season has finally started. So, so far we got um, in the West, the Phoenix Suns took a 1 0 lead. Dallas, I'm sorry, my bad. Utah took a 1 0 lead over Dallas. Golden State took a 1 0 lead over uh, Denver. Minnesota beats the Grizzlies. Miami beats Atlanta. Philly destroys the Raptors. Bucks 1-0 over the Bulls, and Boston at the buzzer over Brooklyn. I'll be proud of you. <laughs> say, it, <laughs> say it again. At Boston, over, Boston at the buzzer over Brooklyn. That's a lot of bees. You, you, you ain't fumble that. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> listen, ain't no fumbling. You feel me? I'm going to get my draft. Where's my draft head at? I see, I see you, T. You're getting me hype right now. I, I'm trying to. I'm literally locked in right now. I'm trying to relax, but I'm looking to see that Raven logo and knowing we like a little less than two weeks away, I'm excited. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm struggling through this NBA um, playoff talk because I'm sitting here I'm anxious. <laughs> I'm too anxious. It's too close. All right. Mm. Let's let's break it down with the Western Conference. Any upsets in the – well, how do you see it playing out? Um, I don't know this. Would you? I'm guessing you guys would expect Phoenix to get past New Orleans. There's no eight seed beating the number one seed this year, right? No, not at all. Need the conference? Need the conference. No, because you got the, the yeah. other one would be uh, Miami and Atlanta. Yeah, I, I don't have I don't have Atlanta doing that, taking that. So 
Me neither. Me neither. However, I do believe the seven seed will be a two seed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I had it backwards. Well, no, no. Yeah, I got it right. Yeah, the seven seed will be the two seed. I believe Minnesota will beat Memphis. Okay. So we got two number seven seeds advancing. No, I have one. Well, I have. <laughs> oh, you oh, said we. Advanced. You were speaking French. So that's what I was like. No, <laughs> <laughs> no sir. <laughs> I love Kevin Durant. Besides Taewon, I might be the biggest Kevin Durant fan on here. I'm by far the biggest Kyrie fan on here. However, I think Boston got him. Just being together all season. Um, they're young, they're hungry, the chemistry is there. The coach is solid. Really, really good coach, I should say. Shout out to, to Ike Faye. Okado, what is his name? Emeka Udomi. Udoka. Ime Udoka. There you go. Yeah, him. <laughs> him too. Neil Long. No problem over there. <laughs> That's really Neil Long. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's what I was saying. Shout out to him. But Boston, I can't do it. <laughs> Use a look. I you. I know you. Yeah. Yeah, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mess with you. I know you can't do it, Al, but uh, something about, about the one time in life I need Kevin Durant and Kyrie to win me anything. <laughs> Bro, it'll be hilarious. Your rant afterwards is probably going to be the most hilarious part of it. Like these niggas. Get there and choke. One time in life I need Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving to act like they got some damn sense and win. I mean, before we move on, I know um, a lot of folks watched that game. I was looking at the um, the Ravens. I'm sorry. The, see, I'm ready to football. The Sideline Talk uh, Facebook group. Seen a couple comments that Brooklyn fumbled the bag by taking the ball out of Kyrie's hands down the stretch. Kevin Durant didn't show up. Just a bunch of outlandish comments. People live in the moment, and Kyrie, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, Durant didn't have his best game, but at the same time, you can't, in my opinion, man, either one of those guys taking the shots is where you need, like, you can't get mad if Kyrie said, look, I'm taking the shots, and he took the shots. If KD took the shots, then he take the shot. Not yeah. to mention, how late did KD get the ball in the play clock on that last play? Like, and everybody talking about um, the shot that selection that he took. Well, he got out of late. Um, and Boston got something going towards the basket. That's really the difference in the game when you think about it. Um, as far as that, I want to say that I think that uh, if that's the best Utah has to offer. Oh, they in trouble. They in trouble. Yeah, Utah they in trouble. <laughs> like, I mean – What's the name ain't even back yet? And that's the best y'all got to offer without him in there? Oh, y'all in trouble. Because he might not be back for game two. Luca might not be back for game two. But if he can, if they still won, then if that was still won without Luca there, it's definitely a wrap for them. I mean, Donovan did get off to a slow start. So I guess they can hold their head on that. But, yeah, I, I still see... I still think Dallas can win that series. I agree. Absolutely. Mm. To to go back to the um the Boston series, I I don't like the way Brooklyn plays with Kevin Durant and Kyrie on the floor. Okay. Let me ask this question. Cause you watch more than I do. So maybe I'm I'm maybe I'm missing something. Do I see two wing players playing ISO and everybody else just standing around? Is That's that, is that their what offense? it is. Mm. That's what it is. It's like, it's like your turn. All right, now it's your turn. And the, and the other guys on the floor, Claxton, 
when he's in Brown, Seth, whoever else is in, y'all guys got to play solid defense on the other end and help create turnovers. And then in the half court set, get a ball to Kyrie or KD and we ISO. You guys pick your spots, you know, in the wing. You go to the top of the key. You know, it's it's like, come on, man. This is this what we doing? I understand these are two of the greatest ISO players ever. Ever. But ball movement and player movement pause still works. Mm-hmm. Look at how look how um Boston won the game. Jalen Brown penetrated to the basket. All right, one none they kick it out. They kick it over to uh Smart. Smart was hot. Pump fake drew two defenders. He stepped in the lane, a cutting Jason Tatum. He didn't sit there and wait. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Player movement. And he won the game. Like, and it's weird because Steve Nash, like, I was about to mastered say that. Mike D'Antoni's system of yeah. ball and play movement. Even before that, the Don Nelson system when he was in Dallas, a player ball and player movement. And now he goes to Brooklyn. It's just straight ISO. It's like it's like coaches don't want to coach. They just cater. Let's pick your strength. Let's just play to your strength and just it is what it is. If it's ISO, it's ISO. Well, I was gonna ask you that. Is it playing to the strength or is it, you know, when when Nash used to run this, he he had a legitimate athletic big man to run pick and roll with. And oh, oh okay. Oh, my bad. When when he was don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm talking about, when, you know, when he was with Amari, even when he was with Tyson Ch- Nah, he wasn't with Tyson Chandler. But when he was with Amari and, and you know, guys like Sean Murray, and now See, who did he – now he's got, like, Blake Griffin, who's old. They and, don't even play. That's what I'm saying. Like, so – Lamarcus else- don't even play. He got They have athletic bigs. They got clacks and they could run us with. Didn't they, didn't they trade for Jerry? They traded for Jared Allen, right? No, Jared Allen in Cleveland. Hold up, Jared Allen went back to Cleveland? Did he right, trade? Right, right, I'll get it mixed up. I thought he was with Cleveland and then went to Brooklyn. All right, so no, yeah, he's, he's, in, he's in, in, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. He's in uh, Cleveland. But Claxton is a big that can move. So mm-hmm. even if they don't play that type of, like Kevin Durant is athletic. I say he has a big that can move, and his name is Kevin Durant. Right, you could run pick and roll with KD, <laughs> but I guess you could run pick and pop with KD. You ain't gonna really roll him because that's he's not a lot of threat. You could run. If you, you, if you run pick and pop, I'll turn that up by ISO, and that's <laughs> the problem. <laughs> yeah. But even but even when Phoenix, you had you had Amari, you had Bell, you had Marion, you had Quentin Richardson. The ball steady move. Like if if even if, if if Steve Nash penetrated, the ball was swing, swing, swing. You like Quinn Richardson was like, like what are you like six, eight threes in one game, 12 threes? Something crazy like that. Q Rich was like one of the top performers because of that system. It was like he was putting up double digits a game. Amari getting his 20 plus, Nash getting his. 15 and 15 or whatever it was. It won back-to-back MVPs. The point is, it was more than two guys dominating the score. It was kind of spread throughout. Why the guys were still... Why the guys who were the guys remained themselves? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now it's just... And it's it's not just Brooklyn. It's kind of across the league. It's ISO ball. It's like, bro, mm-hmm. this is... This is... Well, I'm, I'm watching. I'm Evan Durant kind of stood for that. Like I went along with that based on knowing how that he how he, he didn't have success in Oklahoma with that. And then you go to Golden State and then you have success the opposite way, moving the ball, playing defense, and finding right. the best shot possible. And then you resort back to that. That don't make no sense. That's the first thing. And then the second thing I wanted to ask y'all is Ben Simmons playing this year or not? I think I didn't think he was coming back. Um this series, I think he'll come back next series. Hmm. They show him dunking and everything. So said he's feeling better, no pain. 
So I think he come back next series. But like I'm not saying ISO ball isn't part of basketball. Because obviously it's been that way since the beginning. However, think of think of when players like Mike used to isolate or Kobe or Mac or whoever the great ISO scorers were. They get the ball at their spots. Right. Where does Kevin Durant spot? You feel, you feel me? You said where? Say it again. I said everywhere on the damn court. Yeah, to a degree, yeah. But how much more effective would he be if he get the ball at the elbow? Instead, oh, well, of, getting, I mean, instead of getting the ball at the top of the key and hang dribble, hang dribble. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. This is basic. As... But, but I think defenders are doing a great job of forcing him three to four feet outside of the three-point line. And that's yeah. where he's getting the And that's that's been a struggle, not because he can't get past him, but because it's when more all those defenders start running at you like that, it's, it's definitely tougher. Yes. And it's easier but, to the, to do that when, you know, as a defense, they really only want to get the ball to two guys to score. Right, right, right. But is that people forcing him out, or is that him giving Kyrie space to operate? Because Kyrie likes to, you know, dribble the air out the ball everywhere. No, I think there's people forcing him out. Uh-huh. Look, look at think of the think of late in uh, yesterday's game. It was a possession um, where he got the ball. I think it was on the the left left wing, and he was basically isoled with Al Horford. Out on the wing with Al Horford. And Al Horford didn't give him any room to breathe. He tried to cross Al Horford. Al Horford was right there. When he went up for the shot, Al Horford was like fingertip to fingertip. And I'm like, damn. Al Horford looked like like 10 years younger guarding KD out there. But that just lets you know if you got a big somebody big as him, and in that playoffs, they let you bump a little bit. Right. That kept him out the lanes. But I think Boston got the series. It's, it's going to be a fun series to watch. That's besides KD bouncing back. I yeah. think too. Me too. Then I think that now, one was a little seven. I, I'm I'm talking about at least thirty five next game. Is what I, I got. He's giving them forty back to back games. Yeah, he had he had twenty three. Twenty twenty three on the bad night. Yeah, twenty three <laughs> or nine to twenty shooting. And and. Boston was hot. Like, they had four guys with 20-plus points. Mm-hmm. Getting easy shots. All it's right. Cool, uh, it's cool. It look all right. Y'all Denver, got one game from the Denver and Golden State, any thoughts? Steph Curry was amazing. His unselfishness. That they, you know, you, you offer up, you know, Russell Wilson, Westbrook, take the bench. You know, come off the bench. You offer up Melo, come off the bench. Steph Curry's like, nah, doing pool killing. I'll take the bench. Come on, that's unselfishness. That's my guy. Stop, Al. I just had to throw a quick shuttle Westbrook Stop. jab, bro. Stop. Right, that's all it was. You know, <laughs> Dag, what? This is your first game after an injury. Of course he's coming off the bench. Like, no <laughs> petty. I had to throw the Westbrook jab, though. I had to. <laughs> Go ahead, what you say? I said, what time does that series start tonight? That game is 10 30, 10 o'clock. Yes. Okay. So tonight's games will be at uh Um, I got it up right here. Um, oh, that's good. Toronto, Philly is first game at seven thirty. Utah and Dallas is at eight thirty, <clears throat> and on NBA TV. And then the nightcap is Nuggets and Warriors at ten thirty or ten o'clock. Sorry. Yeah, but I only low seed I see winning in the first round is Minnesota. Um. Yeah, it's, it's Minnesota. That's about it. Minnesota is a fun watch. 
that whole that whole series is gonna be fun because both of them scrappy teams and just a ton of energy, ton of excitement. Yeah. And and they what both they you know, the Clippers. That was a fun game. That was a fun game to watch. That fun watch. Yeah. What do you say, T? They both teams that did what? I said they both young teams that is real hungry. They really want it, and which makes me want to watch. Right. And since Al throwing his Westbrook jabs, I'm going to throw my Laker organization jabs. Look at all these Lakers that's in the playoffs. Mm. <laughs> Brandon Ingram in the playoffs. Larry Nance in the playoffs. D'Angelo in the playoffs. Huh? I thought Larry Nance was in Cleveland. Where's Larry at? New Orleans. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? Okay. Damn, but watch what no, I, I mean. Need. I ain't got no more. I ain't got no I need issue a with GM that. Anybody job, that we got rid of to get AD, I ain't got no issue with it. I do. I don't. Get rid of it. We got one, AD, we got a ring. One ring. We got a ring. Ain't a ring getting one. They going down as the only Laker team within the last ever. Is that the only Laker team ever? That gets one ring, they don't go. That don't go back to back. Well, since the eighties, since the eighties, that's the only Laker championship team that doesn't go back to back. <laughs> None of them getting one. So I don't know. I know we ain't thinking New Orleans winning the damn championship. In that's the crazy, crazy man. It's not. It's not about them getting one. It's about building, building well, for more than one. It, it was never their intention to build. You know that. You but know who the getting AD and is that's fine the if issue. AD gets to get all their young pieces. Getting AD and a bunch of old niggas around them, that's not fun. I just want to officially put it. So uh, I'm actually happy about it. And you you guys read what you saw. Yes. Thanks. All right. All right. NFL drafts. Oh, my fault. Predictions, predictions. Who wins the NBA finals? What's your finals matchup? The same thing as last year. I'm going to go Bucks again. Who was it last year? Bucks and oh, Phoenix. Bucks and Phoenix. Right, 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 right. Damn, mm. yo. I actually wouldn't be mad at Phoenix if Phoenix won it, though. I'm so rooting. Do, y'all not think Miami can turn the table on that? What's up, Jose? Um, not on, not on Milwaukee. I feel like that Milwaukee has a size advantage, and they're just too physical. And Giannis got better. That's the most important part. Giannis' game has got even better. They ain't beating him. I don't even know yet. I can't. It's too early for me to tell, honestly. I understand. I just say I'm rooting for Chris Paul to win a ring this year. That's what I'm yeah, rooting for. If Paul ain't in their book, they got their ring. Jose, I haven't been to an O's game yet. Um, I ain't been to an O's game in, damn. I can't even Hopefully tell you that. I can't tell you who was on the roster the last time I've been. Matter of fact, the last time I've been to the O's game, Chris Davis was Chris Davis. Damn. Yeah, that was the last time I went before Saturday. That was a long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. That was a minute ago. Like, that was that, that playoff? Yeah, that, was, that might have been the playoff year, actually. I think it was a playoff year. I went early. Like, it was, it was so long ago – that I I actually was excited to wear a Chris Davis t shirt. You know how they had the Orioles t shirt with the play on the back? I had a Chris Davis and I wasn't the only one. Like we were deep <laughs> in there with the Chris Davis. That was the last time I went to Orioles game. I had my Jeter on Saturday, so. Bro, you can't go wrong with a goal. Well, that was back when Chris Davis had Adderall. So that's when he was. <laughs> Chris was a bad boy with the Adderall, boy. He was something to behold back then. Yeah. 
I can tell you right now, them Yankees spend them Yankees spend a half a billion dollars to not have any hitters. They got no hitters. What? You got Judge, you got Staten, but that's a struggle. That game was a struggle to watch. Was it? Nobody had nothing. Damn. Sorry. Right. Oh, mass in a couple days a week. You appreciate the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> I, yo, I didn't even know we had a pitcher on the team that's actually from Baltimore. I don't know who the no more. Bruce uh, Zimmerman. Okay. Oh, yeah. Zimmerman with the uh, Blakefield. Okay. I think Zimmerman did pitch Saturday. Uh, he f- Sunday. Yesterday he pitched. Oh, he pitched yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Jose said he saw the Mets versus National, O's versus Brewer- Brewers. He caught a foul ball. That's what's up. That's what's up. I need to go down to Nationals Park. That's a beautiful Nationals game. Park was actually better than Camden Yards, and I hate to say it. Camden Yards is just dead. Like the I'm PA announcement. The PA announcement oh. when you would try to get the crowd into it. Hold, 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 All right, hold up. We, we look, I I'm a old bastard, but we, we ain't gonna just sit here and do it's just those some stuff out there like Nationals Park is better than Camden Yards. That's what we ain't gonna do. I ain't get, he, he, I'm just saying, like I don't want it to be, but wait a minute. They ain't do the dent, 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 charge. They ain't do none of that. That's supposed to they get they did the that like four times, but they, wasn't nobody hit nothing. So it wasn't dead. <laughs> <it. laughs> well, nobody was out there to do no damn way. The like, seven in the seven in the stretch wasn't live. Some they play- some Not- some nigga was singing um America the Beautiful, and that was about it. Like <laughs> it just it was a struggle game. I don't know, man. Canada me us is beautiful. From the outside looking in, Nationals Park looks looks like amazing. Nationals Park been to I, was club level. I was at club level for both of them. Nationals Park. Wow. Jose said Camden Yards is the best stadium in the in, in the MLB. He's been to many of them games, but many is many stadiums, but Canada Yards is the sweetest. That's what's up. Okay. One day I'll travel to Yankee Stadium. I do want to go to a Yankee game. See what that's I definitely about. Want to go to Yankee Stadium. So I've been to the Braves. Yeah, Braves. Not the new one, though. The old Braves. The Greg Maddox in them building. Right. Gotcha. And the Yards in National Park. And I would have this in National Park. Out of those three. Then National, then Camden. Okay. All right, so let's get to it. Like I said, we are less than, well, technically 10 days away. 10, days. ten nine, mm-hmm. I mean, 10 days away, whatever it is. John ain't, John ain't going to make it today, Jose. So maybe we keep John, he with us in spirit right now. He can't make it this on, to the show today. But, um, Ten days away, last I am series, the best running back in the draft. And we're gonna switch it up today. We just gonna talk about we got two running backs to talk about, um, as far as the I am series. And then we'll try to find some homes for some other running backs in the draft. So uh I don't have any stats in front of me. I know you guys like to look at stats and all that. But in my scouting, I'll I like to advocate for Damian Pierce out of Florida. I pause because I know how y'all feel about Gators, you know, being a Florida State guy. A hurricane and a Gator fan. That's interesting. Oh, snap. Well, all right. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to advocate for Slim because he plays with such an, an aggression. It's like, it's like with, when he, he doesn't waste opportunities. Mm-hmm. He gets the ball. He's what, 5'11, 215 or so. So he's not like a small bag. He's, pretty stocky um some of his best games came against tough competition 
he had a great game against Georgia in their front. Oh, should I, yeah, their defense, I should say. Um, solid game against uh, I think Bama. He had he had like positive yards against them as well. He's just one of those type of backs. Um, I think he got good feet, solid vision. He's patient, set up his blocks. He explodes through the hole. Um, he's a willing pass blocker. Um, solid hands out the backfield too. And he's a physical runner. So he has, you know, I think he ran four, what was it, like four, four, low four fours. I think it was like mid four fours at the combine. Um, so he has somewhat of home run speed, but he has no problem lowering the shoulder in the trenches as well. His stats was 100 attempts, 574 yards, averaging just under six uh, yards per carry at 5.7. He has mm. 13 downs, with it, which is tied second in the SEC. Wow. I think he had low 4.5. Four low 4.5? All right, that was official. <laughs> Jose, you killing me. Oh, Jose said, who's on Zoom? I just saw some fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Roller doing over there. I think he try, I think he on the phone with Cricket trying to get his um his audio fixed or something, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um I wanted to talk about Isaiah Spiller out of Texas A&M. Um, I just want to talk about what I feel his downfall could be initially, which is just his workload at Texas A&M. Like, if you watch any um, any of their film, their games or whatever, Isaiah Spiller had a lot of the workload. And he was getting – he got punished in a couple, <laughs> a couple of those games. So um, that's the only thing I'm really worried about is his uh, his workload that he took on in, in in college. But I think he what he does well translates to the NFL well. Like he catches the ball out of the backfield. He's good in a screen game. He's good running between the tackles. He's good running zone. So I think when you get a guy like that. Um, and he's a leader. He's been a leader on his team. So that type of stuff that doesn't bother him. That's the type of guys that you want to bring in. Um, he had 179 attempts this year, over 1,000 yards, 1,011, and just under six yards per carry at 5.6, uh, only six touchdowns this year. Um, but he's also, I mean, like I said, he's just a do-everything kind of back. He's not small. He's not going. He's not brittle. So you know, what I mean, I, I'm just worried about how much tread left on the tires, as everybody would say. In that mm. six one, two hundred fifteen pounds. Mm-hmm. Is that fair to to question though? With outside of Tennessee. I think everybody else like splits the load. You know what I mean? Well, mm-hmm. I get what you and is it fair to question? I think you gotta question it from a GM standpoint. Like you gotta ask yourself, like, is this guy gonna be around five to six years from now? Like, you know what I mean? Like I think when you draft a running back, you 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 the question you ask yourself is are they worthy? Are they going to be worthy of a of a second contract? Like you know right. what I mean, because that's becoming fewer and far between with the same team now. So if I'm a GM, that's what I'm asking: Is this guy going to be worth a second uh, a second contract? I think I got him slated going somewhere around late two, early three at the latest, but probably mid to late two. So for that type of guy, you kind of you want your guy that got to be uh to be around your your franchise for a little bit, right? I understand. <clears throat> All 
What you, what's a good spot for uh Spiller? Um I would say going to a system like uh going to a system like San Francisco's, going to a system like uh, uh, even even Seattle. Seattle runs a lot of zone and can mix it up a little bit, but he can't go in and take on that workload there too after just being where he was just at. Um, but I think another good landing spot for him, um, believe it or not, will be, will be Houston. I think they need a workhorse back and he could probably do that for him for the long term if they can actually get a quarterback because I still don't believe in the other guy they got. Rookie, yeah. Was it? This was his rookie, David. right? David Smith. David Smith, yeah. Mills, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, he thrives best in um, zone systems. I, I just – I think of him as a – how we used to think of uh, just the kid. I can't remember his name. He went to Seattle. He just did everything. Um, Rashad Penny? Kind of like Rashad Penny a little bit, yeah, because his ability – like I said, he can catch the ball out of the backfield, and he can um, – and he can. he's pretty good in the screen game too, so I wouldn't limit him to just one style, but – Right. It's, it's funny you said that because – you look on NFL.com, that's his pro comparison. Oh. That's pretty, I'm that's a pretty good on your part. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, you, you know, you and the man thinking alike, but. <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> um, before, before Al go, I'll say Damian Pierce. Um. What would be a good fit? I think he could play any system, to be honest. I probably would love him the best. Um, Seattle would be nice. Both teams you mentioned, Seattle, Houston would be cool. Um, That's the thing. Not a lot of teams need backs. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh will be good to help share the like take some of the way and tail off Najee. They already they wore Najee out last year mm-hmm. for all those touches. So if you you could spell him with Najee because he still can bring that um bruising style that they like to run with Najee and Snell. The difference between him and Snell is I feel like Pierce is more prone to run away from people than Snell is. And he's he's not as timid in the hole because Benny Snell took him a while to get comfortable running in between tackles. He was a little little timid, a uh, little timid in the NFL. I didn't see that. I was a big Benny Snell fan coming out of uh, was it Memphis or Kentucky? Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky. Yeah. I thought he was so- soft in the hole. Pause. I thought I, I was a fan of his man. I just didn't think. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly I just didn't expect this from him, but yeah. Here we are. <laughs> All right, who's you got, Al? Rashad White out of Arizona State. Coach Herm. Uh six two, two ten. So all of our backs are pretty much the same <laughs> like size, weight, if you will. Um but Rashard White is just one of those shifty backs, um, catch out the backfield, speed, um, speed backs, needs help with pass pro. I definitely didn't see him be very consistent with picking up the blitz. But like I said, he can catch him, catch the ball out the backfield. I heard somebody compare him to, I'm not doing this, so don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. I'm just repeating. Don't say Arian Foster. No. I heard him compared to a black Chris McCaffrey. Okay. <laughs> he heard all the time. 
I didn't see any injuries, <laughs> but he didn't play much in college. So he only played what fifteen games. He and he bigger than, than than Christian too. He ain't played. He only played fifteen games because Herm Edwards be churning out NFL running backs. Like you know, <laughs> came out uh, last year. And before uh, that was um, what's my man that was in Florida and was at the Steelers last year. Oh my gosh. It was John had him as a back in I am serious. I can't think of his name. I'm gonna remember I'm gonna remember it. But keep going, I'm gonna remember it. But yeah, he had 15 games. Um he played eleven games last year, got a thousand yards running, five and a half yards for carrying, fifteen touchdowns. Um caught forty three passes for another four hundred and fifty six yards and a touchdown. Wow. Caitlin Balaj, that's the name. Uh, I don't think but yeah, I think it's my name, Enzo Benjamin. Is that a was that a running yeah. back? Benjamin yeah. was last year. Okay. I think, like you said, all of our our backs not only do they have the same build, but they also have the same pretty much protect uh, production. Mm -hmm. Um. And they all kind of do the same thing, which is, in my opinion, a telltale sign of what what we see from the rest of the backs in this draft. Like nobody's leaps and bounds above anybody else. Mm -hmm. but well, even no, not leaps and bounds. Yeah, and even with the Walkers and um, Walker and um, Brees Hall, oh, Brees, yeah. they different. <laughs> Yeah, even with those guys, but they nobody's separating themselves and saying, "Hey, like it's me and then it's them." Like, you know what I mean? Right. Which, which is, I ain't gonna say bad, but it's just goes to show you that there's depth there. So nobody right. should press come up and get these guys. Right. And I feel like the more um, now that I looked at. Like every position in the draft, I would say overall this is a depth kind of draft as a whole. Like you gonna find quality depth pieces throughout this draft, with the exceptions of a few unicorns in the, in this year's draft that could be like really special. Um, it's just a solid draft because like really none of these backs. Like, would I take Brees Hall over Najee Harris last year? Nah. Would I take Kenny Walker over the – nah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, I can't do it. Roland say – I probably um, would take him over Travis. But you take who over Travis? I probably would take them over Travis, but not over Najee. Over Etienne? I probably would. I ain't taking. I ain't taking one of these backs over over Travis. Not me. Like, damn, we, we don't play them. Yeah, we did play them. We got Jacksonville again this year. Mm, I, I think, think we so. got Jacksonville. They came last year. Damn, that's gonna be fun. All right, Roland said Pierce out of Florida and Brian Robinson from Bama would be great day three picks. I agree. Brian Robinson is one of the backs I did want to ask you guys about. Six from what I saw, is I he the him. biggest back? Say it again. I said from what I saw, I liked him, but I didn't really watch that much of him. I watched him just during the season, watching Bama play. Right. And it was just like their offense seemed like it was just either we getting the ball to Jameson or Mechie or just giving it to Brian. Say, all right, Brian, do your thing. And I didn't realize he'd been in school that damn long. Like, like, you, back like you sat behind Bo Scarborough? Not Bo. Yo, yo sat behind Bo, behind Damian Harris, Jacobs, and Jeez. Najee. And I feel like Bo been there forever. <laughs> First of all, if you sat behind all those guys, I'm trying to figure out what you studying. I'm going to be able to get you that much eligibility. Yo, right. And the crazy thing is when when it was his time, he showed up. Like, he like mm -hmm. a grown man out there. 
Brian Robinson Bro. was having his way on the field. That just goes to show you that we all don't – we don't think like a lot of other pundits, like you said, the man. They got Brian Robinson ranked as the, the uh, 247th ranked player in this draft. Wow. And to me, that's also making him the last back in the top 300, wow. which I just don't see. Now, I can sit here and lie and say I watched every single back on in these top 300. I haven't. But I know Brian Robinson ain't the last rated back on this draft. Back. For sure. <laughs> Facts. Especially when you rate people based on your competition and mm-hmm. production. Like, bruh. Like, he, he's, a, he's a very good bet in this draft. And um, what's his production? Uh, he had 270. <laughs> 1,337 yards, 14 touchdowns, five yards of carry. Exactly. He co-led the SEC in rushing touchdowns. Okay. So, I mean. Who was who was he tied with? Does it say? Um, it does not say right now. Okay. I wonder if it was the other kid I'm thinking of that I wanted to talk about before we move on. Who are you talking about, the South Carolina kid? No, 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 no. But um, <laughs> day three. Uh, but deep. But deep. Okay. Tyler, Tyler. Is it Batty or Bade? Tyler Batty. I, well, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I hear him say it. I hope it's Tyler, I, M- M- Missouri. I'm Missouri. I'm sorry. Batty, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, you know. I won't say Tyler now. Not in today's culture. Won't do it. <laughs> I'm just calling him Amber D. Yeah. Um, what you guys think is Zamir White? Georgia, number three. That's the deal with the Yes. Sure he mean. Yes, Lord. I- he mean and he got experience running between the tackles, which to me that just translate different in the NFL than everything else. You know what I mean? Like when you got that experience, when you don't have that experience, you coming in the NFL tiptoeing, or you know what I mean, you not trying to get in and get out. But that don't seem to be like homeboy. Like even like if you all Georgia backs have that, in my opinion. They just used to it. They they battle tested. They play in the SEC. They playing in the toughest division in football, which is the NFL pro ready division. So I mean, it's, it seems to translate well. I don't see why it wouldn't translate well for him as well. I, I I'm this really for 160 attempts, 856 yards, 11 touchdowns. Mm. That's what I like about him. He used to split in time. Instead of being productive, like then he has a speed that you that you don't realize. It's like when you look at him, you think he's a he's a a, a bruising punishing back, but he shows you he ran four four four. Like don't sleep on me. Mm-hmm. If I hit that gear, I'm up out of there. His teammate didn't have a bad year at all either. Like I mean, when you think nah. about. Like, James Cook, he had uh, what? He had 728 yards and seven touchdowns too. So, mm-hmm. but the attempts were neck and neck. So, like you said, they were splitting time and Daddy being productive. Mm-hmm. And with both of those backs, um, I don't know if it's I'm 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 gonna point to instincts, but I'm also gonna shout out the running backs coach down there because when you watch them, they set up blocks very well. And they have like they have good vision. Like if if it's power, power right, and they hit the hole and they see in a cutback lane is there, they gonna put their foot in the ground and just go. Mm-hmm. Hit that cutback lane and they out of there. It's like it's second nature, it seemed like with both backs. James right. Cook does it and it looks like 
Like he been playing running back for years. Like both of them, it's like it's just natural. Cut back, we out of there. In between the tackles, finishing runs. Just it's a great, great program, man. I would I would add me personally, I would add him as a a solid, a great um day three pick in a uh, Ravens uniform. Who's that? Zamir White. Zemir. Oh, okay. Day three, you said. Ooh. Even James Cook. Because, you know, day three is third round and on. It's fourth yeah. round. Yeah. Oh, fourth round. My bad. Well, day two. Day two. Day, day three. Day three. We got, we got more picks in day three. Mm. The only reason I say that because... Nah, day two. Day two or three. I'll say day two. Day two pick. Because, like, I'm on... Only reason I see running back as a need to draft is because three guys are coming off of ACL. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I see the need to draft a running back. Justice had ACL too? Yes. Justice was a killer. No, he was ACL. I thought I seen I seen video I think of him working out today though. Yeah, it's about to say yeah. Justin is already working out. Um, Gus is working out too. Bowser is in the goddamn building. That was That's, a shock. See him pull up. That was crazy. Like yo, who was in the building? Bowser. Ty uh, Bowser. He's literally three months and five days from surgery, and he's walking as if he never tore his Achilles. Right. So what, like, that's going to make me wonder, like, what injury is actually career-ending now? Hmm. Besides besides what uh, Shazia had. Well, I feel like that might be the only one. I think Alex Smith. Alex Smith's injury was pretty. Oh, that, yeah, he broke his whole. Uh, yeah. Ugh. You know what I mean? Came off. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty gruesome right there. I seen the, as soon as you said Alex Smith, I seen the whole doc, um, ESPN doc. I seen his whole right. leg. Hmm. That was crazy. Yeah, because I remember your leg. I think he get he wild. get he get boinked or something. Because what did like why his skin look like that? He get boinked. Like boinked, burnt, boinked. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> no, it it was like it was like dead ligaments or, or something in there. Like like oh, he had to basically leg, rebuild a whole, whole leg. leg it died. seemed like his whole leg died. Hold up, yo. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about to go left. <laughs> no, yo, Al, bro. Right. I mean, you going to say the man whole leg died? Like, I mean, go <laughs> We seen it. It was there. It was it's a lot of dead skin in there, but it was crazy. He came back though. I don't know how he came back, boy. Oh, like Lazarus. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All mm. right. Um, like I said, that's the only reason I see Ravens picking a, a day three running back. All right, I would say more, but let's get to it, man. Let's enter the war room. Yes. Those Orioles has close enough. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to do this one. All right. So, this is what we're going to do. So, we're going to be drafting from. Y'all want PFN or PFF? Just let me know. PFF works. Right, let's go. We go PFF. Let me share my screen so you guys can see what's going on. Is that the one that y'all like sharing or not? Never mind. Never mind. PFF. Yes, it's the one I've been sharing. I share. I share them both. Right. All right, seven rounds. 
I'm gonna slow it down a bit that way we can see each pick. All right. Do you ever mess with the advanced settings or y'all leave it as default? I just leave like, it. You sure? Look at these settings. Nothing you want me to change. What's the advanced setting? If you look at it, it's catering to public public board, board versus PFF board. It's catering to the public. Should I put it in the middle? I mean, I mean, you can. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't care. My it ain't gonna change my my draft strategy at all. So it might change the board though. That's what I'm saying. Right. Careful professional positional value, more or less. Drafting for needs is you know see where it's at. Well, that's good. That's just that's GM this All right. Yeah. All right, so I'll leave it like that. Entering the draft. Y'all let me know. Who's it? Who's who? Y'all let me know. I'll I'll pause it after how many picks. Or well, y'all just let me know if you want me to pause it. In case you want to. Yeah, how fast is it? Is it going, bro? It's, be, it's pretty slow. I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. Because, I mean, I might have to chime in. Okay. Two picks gone already. Ho, ho. Slow down. Slow down. All right, all right. How about all right, look, I'm gonna start it over. Oh no, I ain't gotta start it over. I can just bump the speed down right here. Well, wait a minute. Depending on who got picked, you might have to start over. Uh, we can't see your screen, so how you can't see my screen? I'm sure. Yeah, right there. Kayvon and Aiden. Right here. Oh, Kayvon okay. went one. Aiden went two. Okay. Hey, Kayvon went one. Mm-hmm. You want me to start yeah. over? Or just leave it like it is. Oh, you can no, leave that like. I'll leave that. Uh, <laughs> All right, resume draft. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, Sting. Mm -hmm. Stop. Kyle Hamilton Stop. four. Stop it. Pause. So the first five picks. Kayvon Thibodeau one. Aiden Hutchinson stays home and plays for Detroit. Lovey yes. said he can't play his defense without a corner, so he gets arguably the best corner in the draft. <laughs> mm. Kyle Hamilton go four to the Jets. They get a playmaker on the back end. And no, Charles Cross. Tackle. Charles Cross is the first tackle off the board. That's crazy. That's so disrespectful. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like this board. I like I don't it. Know if... Yo, I like forget it. the board for us. Why is like... say needs every position though? Like, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> niggas ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> that is petty. All right, so the reason I asked you to stop here is because I think we need to have a discussion here. Mm -hmm. The discussion here needs to be, I wanted to see what the Giants was going to do at five, and they took a tackle, right? Mm -hmm. We know what they're going to do next, and they're going to go get an edge player. At six? At seven. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm wondering, at this point, should we be trying to move up to Carolina and get – who, in my opinion, the best player in this draft. And that's... Um, we, and that's number, that's number 44. Right. I'm about to say, that's between y'all. Well, I wouldn't be the, opposed to it. That's the war room. Like, that's we in the we war room, about. Al. We in the war room. We need to right. we need to pass this out. Like, should I, we be moving up here? I would say no. So I we would say no. Because hope, but I already got my like he's not the number one person on my mind because I've already had him going top five. <laughs> right, but he ain't though. That's the part that we talk about dropping. Like my thing right, so, is, all right, if you look at the needs, I, I hear what you're saying. So I'm not opposed to moving up to get him. I'm I'm on board with that. However, six isn't the move. Okay. Because you say they go get can move up. I'm sorry, you say um Seven, they can go get an edge player. 
Mm-hmm. They also need a corner. And Gardner is on the board. That sounds good. So right, I'm well, like, eh. but we also got to worry about San Francisco. I mean, and I said Atlanta too, but. But then we also need more than just an edge guy. Right. Because yeah, but, if they take, if, if they take, um, let's just say the Giants, you take 44. That leaves Atlanta deciding between um, Icky or Evan Neal, depending on what, what Carolina does. And then I would say we could jump in, in the mix right in front of Seattle and be in play for Gardner. And that solidifies our back end, which also um, helps our pass rush. Okay. All right. I, I mean, I get it. I get it. But I feel – I'm feeling like Roland is still here because – Roland said like, no. Yeah, I, I know. That's why I said I feel like Roland is still here <laughs> because <laughs> I think we got to – we got to factor in – when we say yes, it's a deep draft, but do we want quality over over project? Like this guy, he, in my opinion, he is a franchise player that is going to change the trajectory of this defense. Do you agree with that? Yes, I think he would be a franchise player on any defense, yes. Okay, so I'm just – just all right, we can roll the draft, but just – You just know, just be ready to stop it. Just be okay. If it's if you start dropping now, okay, let's see. Oh, oh, Ooh, pause. Didn't see that. pause, pause. All right, <laughs> yeah. yo, yeah, I got it. We had a top five, top three is at eight. That's what I'm saying, bro. I say, I mean, well, who else would need an edge? I, I say, let's, I give, he has, let's he give Atlanta a call. I say, let's See, give Atlanta a call because QB is a big need for them. They only gave Mariota, Mariota what, a two-year deal? Mm-hmm. Um, And paying a quarterback top 10 money isn't ideal in this draft, but paying them at 14 might be a little better for them. So let's just see what... Let's see what they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what they're talking about because we can't... We can't... All right, we'll, so... we'll, we'll be willing to give... Damn. <laughs> what well, they said no? Off the rip. All right, what are we willing to give up? Oh, so look, what else? You clicked on eight, but until you click on... Oh, you put 14 in and it, it was no chance, right? Um, <laughs> 14 and what else? In my opinion, this is just me. I'm giving up my round two in 2023. Oh, next year, next year, next year. I know, I know, I know. I'm, oh. I'm thinking, but that ain't gonna get. <laughs> so what? Hit, hit, put 76 in there too. Seventy-six. All right. Is this guy that good for us to go? Um, yeah, 50, 55 picks in so between players. What's the percentage? Fifty, right now. Straight acceptance. Right. No, it says no. likely. All right, yeah. all right, well, all right. Take that two out. Take that round. That round two out. I take the round three out and see what happens. All right. And they 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 accept it. They'll go for fourteen and the two next year. Hmm. Y'all want to move update? Or, in my opinion, I'm I'm willing to make that move. That's just me personally. But wait a minute, I'm willing as well. It works. So if you gave away this year's three, this it's an eighty three percent chance. But do we want anything in return besides eight? Because forty five, forty five to a hundred is a too big of a gap to go in between. Right. See if we can get eighty two. No, I know that's no. unlikely. Now put put our one nineteen in there. They really ain't feeling it. They didn't do the damn thing. All right. Uh, 
Uh, I I feel like if we go, this is the type of player. We we get him. That's the. He's he's the type of player that will makes it, will make um Kalea stay fresh. Because we played Kalea's way too much last year. Mm-hmm. We can rotate with him with Kalea's, or even stand him up. Right now, you know what I mean. He's that person right. where we could we ain't got leave we ain't got take him off the field. So, if if we go fourteen this year and a, a second round of next year, Yo, take going that forward. two off and try to see if they get round three. Yeah, see if they take a three and, and one of our four, our one of our fours maybe. Put another four in there. I not, put the one that team back. It's a seventy-two percent chance. Y'all want, y'all want mean, to try to see? Let's try it. I'm willing to try that. No, I didn't take it. Damn. Add a six next year. We call them back. Four percent. Hey, we on the clock, baby. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey, from what I see, Ronnie, Ronnie is healthy. Oh, the roller says he's not quality over over quantity. What? Tay just got what? He says Walker is good, but not better than the draft capital, and not as productive as other defensive tech. See, that's okay. the problem. That's that's the that's the mindset that's got us mediocre at best and losing in playoffs. Because we want draft capital instead of getting proven playmaker players. We want playmakers here rolling now. This it's a new regime. Ozzy's gone. EDC is here now. It's a new regime. My we thing play- and my thing is the, the production part of it, whether you're talking about Walker, Wyatt, or Davis, is overblown. Or even or even Quay Walker is overblown. Because when you look at that defense, they rotated guys out often. And it wasn't because of being, uh, what you call it, out of shape. Jordan Davis ain't played a lot because he was out of shape. Like, no, they rotated guys. 88 Hmm. saw the field a lot. Yeah, Uh, Channing Tindall saw the field a lot. Uh, Four, like, they just rotated guys. That's, That's what it was. It was been times they take Davis and Wyatt out. And put in a whole new four. Yeah. That was just their system. So I think that's just more untapped potential that Trayvon has. So where do and, they rank? I don't know, but I know 88 is a problem. Yes. 88 is a problem. Yes, Lord. Mr. Carter is like that. All right. So are we drafting here? Or are we moving back? So <laughs> All right. Did they rank him at 14? Yeah, according to Pro Football Focus, yes. He's a 14th ranked pick. It's hard for me. Damn, that means I'm passing on Icky. Ah! You on the clock. We taking Trayvon, right? Yeah, that's what the move is for. Let's let's not just get his feet now. Trayvon Walker's the pick. Icky goes nine. Let's see how I play out. McDuffie. Drake. Mm, it's Drake. Wow. Early. Wow. Man, it's still working out favor. And what I tell you? What I tell me. you? Yep. Trade back with them and what they do? Get the quarterback. Mm. That, that's me. No, they probably would have took Trayvon right there if we did. Mm. And mind you, he's the only edge off. So is that really a good move? Like, Atlanta is the only fear. Or should I say... No, because I think Seattle would have went there. I think, yeah, right, 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 right. right. With, with Gardner off the board. Yeah. No, these probably still would have took Icky. They probably still would have took Icky. Yeah, it's a good chance. It's a good chance he'd have fell a little further. We probably still would have had to get in front of... Um, what you call them, people? The Vikings. 
Uhum. Olha assim. Coloftus, 17. Davis, 18. Lindeborn. Tremaine. Ooh. 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 -hoo. I'm liking all these picks right here. The Kobe went first round? Oh, I mean, yeah. They got to replace. Um, ain't uh. I'm back again. The white one in Dallas. Yeah. Any any move on from Keanu Neal. Yeah, oh, any putting go and, the, and Michael probably play I think edge Sticks is, exclusively. Yes, I think Sticks is playing edge now. Are we looking to move back up into the first? No. All right. I think we gave up too much capital to move back up. Boy, ain't my fate. Sky Moore. Moore. Ooh, Burks. That's Ducks, dumb as hell. Why, why would Burks go to the Bengals? That? That's a lot of goddamn wide receivers. Yeah, that don't even make no sense right there. That might be the only one that I've seen that, I, that didn't make sense to me. Yeah, the rest of these ain't too surprising. I like the Andrew Booth to, to Green Bay, though. I did like that move, Herman oh King. Oh, gosh. They got Booth and Sam Howell. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I, don't I don't understand, understand why they got uh, Sam Howell and they about to pay this nigga $50 million a year. And he already got, uh, what's the name? Joy Love just waiting in the wings. Right, right. so you got two first-round quarterbacks just waiting. Before I start the second <laughs> round, Lewis Singh was the last pick. For the uh, Lions, mm -hmm. are we targeting a specific player this round? Because we got our edge guy, right? Who can, you know, who can also put his hands in the dirt, so he's versatile. Whenever we want to give him a four, a four man front or a three man front. I have two people in mind for second round. All right, who you got? I'm still. I don't know if it's a second round, though. So that's the thing. I'm thinking we still need a nose tackle like a Perion. And I still think we need a wide receiver like George. Like, I'm looking at Pickens and Perion this round, maybe third. Okay. My two my two guys that I'm, I'm – is Perion is one. I agree with you there. But – my other guy is Trevor Pinnock. Trevor Pinnock just Buffalo. went, right? He just went to where? He went to Buffalo, first round. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even see that. I, thought I, saw, I didn't see. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not bothered by that. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, but I just was hoping. Uh, <laughs> I... All right, let's look at these corners then. I'm, I'm, I, at that at this point, I'm looking at probably Winfrey. If Winfrey's there, I'm probably taking Winfrey. But that's just me really trying to revamp us up front and go right. in a in a different Cause, direction. Because if you look at what we got so far on the roster, what did we get rid of up front? No, the picks to to move. We got rid of the uh, second round of next year. Okay. Let me double check. And the six, I think, right? Or was that? Yeah. Uh, actually, we gave about third next year, a third and a six for 23. Okay. That's not bad. <clears throat> no, I ain't bad at all. Rolling hand. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't give him no draft so picks this year. Rolling, that's a win. I'm, I'm, we can get rid honest. of all them goddamn picks, 23 and 24. That don't really matter. They, they fit sectional picks anyway. So. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about our offensive line. And uh, I know we paid Macari, you know, some money to to pencil him in as a starter. And we got Tristan on the roster. But going like not just this year, but also going forward, I think a guy like Kenyon Green. Can give us what we're looking for at 
any of the positions. Hmm. And not not and I'm not talking about like like James Hurst level of production. Like Kenyon Green could be dominant at guard, center, and we seem to did at, at tackles. So I'm thinking if Kenyon is isn't, you know, if he's sitting there at 45, I think that would be a good move. What you guys think? It depends. Uh, to me, it depends on who else is there. If we even draft right. in the five, like, uh, let's, right. let me, let's see, let's see. First off the board, Daxon Hill, Kenny Pickett, Kaye, uh, Kenny, Kenny Green gone. All uh, right. Y'all need me to pause it at any point, or we just sitting? No, we good. Petrie. Hmm. Mm. Travis Damn. gone. Damn, they're taking the corners too. All right. All right. So let's let's talk about who's well, on. everybody I wanted right here at this pick is still available. You got Perrion, you got um eight from Alabama. It was eight. The linebacker. So they got Perry on rank low, man. Like, sheesh. Damn, 81. That's pro football. Hey, I asked you I want you pro football focus. I'm not mad at it. Well, we ain't drafting Perry on right now. If right, they I don't know. Not at 81. Corner. A- Who available? Say it again. Who at corner available? I think Emerson is probably, yeah, right? Emerson yeah. is probably he's the next yeah. highest at 76. 76. I think uh, Marcus is a better all around corner than mm-hmm. Emerson, and plus Marcus also give us um return ability. So right now, in my opinion, there are four corners left on my board, my personal board. Emerson, um uh Jones. Uh, Job and uh, the dude from Tariq still out here. Yeah, you still got Tariq, you still got Job, so got Kobe, you still got McCrary. Right, oh, is not a, um, corner a is right deep. Mario Goodrich is still out there. Right. Waller's out there. All right, so yeah, we, we can we can come back to corner then. Um, so what what else do we need to solidify right now? Because I, I don't care about wide receiver because my wide receivers are gone. I'm looking at the line. Should be looking at, at tackles. Abraham Lucas is there. And it's a good chance. Oh, yeah. Even just to be a swing guy. I mean, we see Ronnie. He's walking around looking pretty good. We got, like, right now, um, Morgan is there at right tackle. But you know, what are you talking about in the trade? <laughs> yeah, they offering for you to you. Who offering you a trade? What's the closest team? Forty eight. All right, I'm not. All right, what they offering? They ain't offering much. Oh, I think you got to just... push. What you thinking? What are they offering? They want to trade, but... All right, so click 48. That's... They ain't got much. Uh, 148. And put 45 in. (laughs) And, And put 196 in. Yeah, they ready. I All think right. we I think we overdid it. I think we could take that one ninety six out. Yeah, we really don't have to give it up. They're gonna go for it anyway. All right, but right. well, then let's what else they go for then? Let's see if we can get back into the third. I mean it's get what we gotta give up for seventy one. They get seventy one in this deal. Put put one hundred in and see what they get. 
Not a chance of hell. All right. No, nah, I mean, you got to think about the gap. Oh, I already well, know. I was trying to. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we have 48, 148 for that, for that 45. For 45. And we move back a couple spots, regroup, and get our stuff together. And we pick up a. Uh, How about that? So we move up a couple spots and. And we move back and we move up. All right. I like you that. Looking, rolling. That works. Let's see. You got it. Cool. Nice. All right, now we get to see who they pick now. Leo. All right, cool. I'll go right there. Oh, ow. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so a little run on receivers and a linebacker. So here we are. Three picks we later. It's not pick 50, but Abraham Lucas is still there. Kennard is there. Let me just go to the let's see. Got Chad Moomer there, so <laughs> Christian Christian Harris is there. No, <sighs> I'm <Yo>. really <laughs> I understand the need to, to want to go to tackle. Oh, man. It's so I'm really much. targeting that linebacker right here, so I might be tempted to trade <laughs> back again. I might go Christian Harris here or – because there's no, it's nothing else I really covet here. Right. That's what That's, I was saying. Just because they don't cover my my D tackle, so. But it's not about them; it's about us. What we cover, right? But I'm talking about. But when you look at it, we we're picking at 48. If you look at the needs that's around, let's just let's not get caught up in the rankings. Let's look at the the players itself. Yeah. Like if we don't go win free here, and and. Hmm. A team like Kansas City who has, outside of Chris Jones, who else is getting pressure up, up front? Receiver, well, receivers on the board for them as a need, but they really don't need a receiver. They just drafted they, a receiver. And they just took a receiver. They just took Sky Moore. They took Sky and Boye Mafe. So I believe Look, if you we pass have, on Winfrey here, they has gone to Kansas Winfrey. City. Right. You don't have to tell me on Winfrey. That was who I said I wanted coming in in the second round anyway. So I'm with it. That's been my pick forever. Okay, I'm with it. All right, cool. Pull the trigger. Jameer is the backup star left guard. Who said that? Roland. I don't know why he hating on Jameer. <laughs> Sorry, yo, bro. He said Jameer. I like Jalen. I actually like Dylan, but not so here. So you would go, Roland, you would double down on Edge? Go Kingsley right here after we just took Trayvon? Look, tell Roland, I'm a, I'm trying to address Edge later on in this draft, but not right now. I'm trying to get Michael Pierce to fuck off the field. Be honest with you. Hey, we and just got and Mike know that. Mike, Mike know he coming here just to split time. <laughs> Yes, sir. Let's get that done. The move. Yeah. Let's see if they go Logan Hall. What I tell you? Wow. What I tell you? It went Logan Hall. Damn, Christian Harris just went off the board. That, that don't move me none. They go Mooma. Mm. Tyler Smith. Ooh. That'd have been a good one. That go Abraham Lucas right there. <laughs> Roll, Roller said now Tay want to address the edge with uh, quality and not uh, with quantity and not quality. I said later on in this draft. <laughs> I ain't say with the second pick. All right, let's see third mm. round. You coming Two. up quick, Brandon Smith? I know who I'm looking for at linebacker. Damn, he gone. 
You should have paused it, bro. What is wrong with you? I did. I had it paused, but then, oh, uh, dang, that huh. sucks. All right. You still got Tyndall later on in the joint. Robert, Tobert, Joster, Janet, Daniel Tyndall. Daniel Tyndall. Oh, my God, bro. So, Sally, rolling, Sally is there. We can still take Salia. Salia can def- play, like, like I was saying about Kenya Green, Salia can play right tackle, he can play left tackle. Or we can let him and Ben, well, both of the Bens, Ben Cleveland and uh, Ben Powers, fight it out for left guard. Look, I don't want to be difficult. I know y'all talk about Salia. But I like Dylan inside, pause. I do too. That's my guy. It's very alignment. Like that's my guy. He athletic. Is he built? Is he built for the north though? I think he is. I think somebody that can climb to that second level when Lamar take off. Or when JK take off. You know we run the ball. I think he's built. But is he is he really gonna move Cam Hayward? That's the thing with our system. Like, with our zone system, it's not about necessarily moving him. It's about getting to a spot and making him run through you right. with, that, with that zone system. so And he's more athletic than – way more athletic than Ben Powers, and he's de- he's deceptively strong. He does move people. But – Even in our power game, you think he can hold up with Cincinnati I, I think he can. front, with, with Cleveland front? We run in power to miles. Yo, I really, I'll be honest with you. I I really do think that he can. So Mm. now, what what else is 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 available? What's what's available corner wise right now? Because we need to see if we want to address this this early or not. Uh, Or Or do you think we can wait? Emerson is still there. And Marcus Jones still there. So would you prefer to and, wait? And Zion said that we got we got what 29 picks in between mm-hmm. this pick and our next one. Right. And then that's when we started to hit our stride. We can really go crazy. Right. So so would you rather get us uh well that's the thing. It depends on how you value I'm not I'm not, I'm not I'm not a big fan of Emerson. Okay. Yo, what was that draft pick? I'm so I'm bug. I forgot what we picked already. We picked uh Walker. We picked uh Prayon Winfrey. Pray on. And then here we go. All right. So we can go. We still need to get wide receiver. We still need to get corner. I'm gonna, gonna be honest. I'm record. fight. I'm gonna fight y'all on the wide receiver. I mean, you ain't gonna fight me on it, but or just. Or which wide receiver? I, I really don't believe we don't need to address a position. Well, I told you two guys I wanted, and they both gone. So, like, it's I, I don't see the need to address it. We got young guys that just need well, opportunity to prove themselves, and yeah, so, at, and at a position where the next year and the year after that is going to be we're going to be in the same boat covered in wide receivers. I think we should always cover the wide receiver. I don't think you ever have too many of it in this day and age. I think that's what the Boykin cut meant. Like bring in one more guy to kind of fight out. Yeah, whatever. but we got but we, but but think about it. We got young guys Boykin. who just we got young guys who just didn't get an opportunity. We got a big I, receiver right. on the roster that we all loved in the draft. What a year a last year or the year before? Ben Victor. Right. You know but, what I mean? That's that's six four receiver. Go get it. Strong hands, route running fast. Everything we thought we was getting in miles. He just couldn't see the field. Out of a numbers game. Tyler right, so Wallace. What we, what we doing here? Here, I feel like we gotta address the offensive line because if we don't we don't do nothing about the offensive line by now. All right. Like we I mean, all gotta be upright. Right. All right. So are we going to tackle? Who's, what's the tackles that's available? Click the CB, yeah. 
Tackles available. We traded back and he's still there. Whew. So even if Ronnie, like like I said, I believe Ronnie is going to be healthy. Uh, but even if you want to move on from Ronnie down the line because What's of the injury team? history, that's not a bad tackle to build around. First of all, the, the three of the next four tackles, in my opinion, are all legit tackles. Yes. Right. So, uh, Alele and Nick Petit Freya, in my right. opinion, are all legit tackles. Nick right, they'll probably go part him right here. In my opinion. <laughs> But look where they're ranked. We don't have another pick, pick until 100. Hey, I said they all going to be gone by the next time we pick. So, all right, so if we go Sawyer, Eva, look, I'm with Eva one. But if we want to go tackle, let's go tackle. If you want to go guard, if you want somebody that can play inside, I say go Parham. But if you're no, worried about tackle. But that's why I say go Sawyer. I believe mm-hmm. I believe just an overall prospect, his versatility makes him more valuable than Parham. Because if we get Parham, we we hoping that this undersized kid can hold it down at guard. Whereas we know Sally is a big guy who can who dominated the the number one number two pick in this draft in Aiden Hutchinson. He held his own against Ojabo. He dominated Alabama, and he could play left or right tackle, and he can play guard. I said he's right. the pick. All okay, right, cool. we go Sawyer. Let the record show the only person out in Parham here is. But go ahead, let's go Sawyer. Yeah, I'm down with him. I'm. <laughs> I get what you're saying though. Ooh, Pierce. Ah, Beavers would have been cool. Matchy just went. Yeah, Josh. Mm. I go par him right there. I go Marcus. Yo. Cross. Oh, that's a good one. Damn, Pittsburgh. Yep. Oh, all right. I don't like the Sean Ryan pick that early. Not over top of who was left. Cole. Oh. Max Mitchell went third round. So much thinking late for him. Pierce to the Titans. That'll work. Tariq. Ooh. Zion is still up there. Zion is still on the board. Simone Clark. David Bell. Let's see. Are we good? Oh, oh my God. So, look. We're good at corner. Look. If we go – what y'all thinking? We go corner here. That's to dosage. Jelani still on the board. Yeah, I know. Uh, Merlin still on the board. Um, Derek Deese. Deese is still on the board. Or the dude from I think that, what about the dude from um from Texas A and M? He's still on the board. Emerson? No, the tight end. Man, what is that? Yeah, he on the board. <laughs> Why? Yeah, why the man? He's on the board. All right. Um. All right. So, corner. Who we got? My pick is Zion. That's my pick. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I think he's that much better than everybody else. I think it's a big gap between Zion and those behind him. Fly right, pretty look. good though, too. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna waste my fight on on this argument. I'll waste my fight later down the line. All right. Um all right, I'm cool. I'm cool with Zion. Let's go. That's fair. Al, what you Al, what you think? I don't know. I'm trusting y'all too. Hey, just think think Jimmy Smith, but faster. Jimmy Smith with four two speed. Okay. And balance. How many are we, we coming out soon? On day to Miami. I actually like that. Oh, they got Brian Cook, so. Tyler. Likely. Ooh. Shots. And we back. All right, so look, we, we drafting best play available at this point, right? 
Really, we got a couple needs out the We board. got our knees. We got we got D line. We got tackle. We got edge guy. We got corner. Um. Yeah, we. What pick is this? Fourth round. One pick. Okay. All right. Let's. Can we? I need to look at a bunch of stuff. Can we look at uh linebacker real quick? I just want to see who available what linebacker. Oh, I like DeMarco. Um, I'm gonna have to. I'm. Mm. I'm not. I'm not sold I, on any of those guys. I don't think none of them better than Malik. We just need. We need. We need. If anything, we could use a, a veteran to light a fire under Malik. But we got a okay. vet in Josh. But I think Malik just got to get it together. All right. So linebacker out at this point. Mm-hmm. All right, what about safety? For what? Because, why not? You see, I'm I'm sure the Ross said safety. That's why. Chuck Clark, Geno Stone, um, Darius Washington, Darius Washington, Marcus Williams. Uh, we got seventy million reasons why safety ain't an option right now. Well, free safety is is not an option. Strong safety, on the other hand, y'all can believe in. Y'all can, Feel how y'all want to feel about Chuck Clark. Chuck Clark is a good player, but listen, listen, and you you sleeping on Brandon Stevens. I think Stevens could play that Robert, that rat type of role, or that star linebacker role. He could take it from Chuck. It's just a matter of Chuck knows the defense in and out. Well, he knew the defense. We see how it is with with Mike uh, want to do. All right, well. I like Brandon. I feel like we solid in the secondary at that position. With Brandon, with um Chuck, with our uh, Darius. Marcus is even playing strong safety at times. All right, so but we'll be thin at. We kind of thin at corner though. We only got Yeah, we definitely thin at corner. We just we got up Zion now. We got let's um, look back at corner again. Zion Stevens. Um Marlon, yeah, we thin that corner. Let's double, yeah, we thin that corner. We real thin that corner. Josh Joe should be out here. Cordell Flat is out here too. Kobe out here. Kobe out here. So what we at? One ten. How many picks we got after that? We got one ten, one twenty eight, one thirty nine, one forty one, one forty eight. Sheesh. So we I mean, get side. We get side the corners. It's just a matter who we want now. Or my corner would be Kobe. I don't want one right here, though. Okay. All right. What's, what, what, what next position? How y'all feel about tight end? Or is it too early? Can we just I think, look I think at it's a, tight end? I think it's a good time. Because you just took, they just took lightly. I think it's a good time. I like, I like, I like, I like Grant. every tight end there. I like, yeah, I like Rucker's a lot. But I, I like, like Rucker. I like um, Woods. If I'm drafting a tight end here, which I'm probably not, I probably wait on tight end because the, the the guys I want is I feel like they're gonna be there a little bit later. The, and those the last two you got listed right there. Those are I'm the two higher that I, on I'm higher on Dees than Woods. I'm higher okay. on Woods. But. Yeah, I'm higher on Woods than Dees, but I like Dees. I don't know. I like both of them, but Woods is just. Right. I think I think what's most intriguing about Woods is just he's six seven. Like his forty time was fast. We don't play that fast. I agree. He's, it's that build up, slow type of. When I get there, I'm gonna get there. Whereas these, I feel like these can just can open things up right away for us. I agree. Let's wait on these. All right, let's compete. Let's compete. Now what? Now we I, I, let's go to guard then. We in a bit. We got a tackle. Let's go guard. You want to fix the O line, or let's go interior offensive line, or interior <laughs> defensive line. Rolling, you don't like these. Rolling says Sterling Weatherford is a name to scout. Small school version of Kyle Hamilton. Safety. Yeah. Uh, 
Hayes, Cyrus. Cyrus Smith wasn't bad. Um, no, my guy. Uh, I'm at a trade Schaefer. at this point. I got Schaefer there, but um, clock running, going, baby. We gotta make a move. Uh, let's go interior D line. My bad. Interior D line and edge. That's the last two I want to. I want to see. Like I said, I'm trade back. I'm team trade back at this point. <laughs> and Matthew look, Butler. I, I really like Neil Farrell. Like I feel like he fits what we try to do in the three four three defensive end. Now, that's just me, but he's still available. I mean, he. I mean, he's gonna be. I like Maj Sanders too, a lot. Maj, yeah, like Maj and Owe. But no, you mean. My well, we still got Walker though. You got Walker, you got Owe, and then you can have Maj Sanders too. That's a mean ass pass rush, bro. And you know, I think you can hold that with and then Dalen Hayes. Damn, we got Dalen. We got a lot of young guys on edge. Dalen, yeah. Matthias coming back. Is, so what they got Zach Carter as on here? Right, where the hell is Zach? Zach ain't go yet, did he? There you right go. There, 192. Yeah, 192. Praise the Lord. All right. Let's uh, wait let's, on edge. Yeah. Let's wait on edge. All right. Um, what y'all say, point. Neil? I don't care what y'all do at this point. Neil or Matt? I'm picking Neil. First, I think I like Matt, but I'm not too sure if I'm – I might be mixing them up with somebody. Matt is 94. He won 94. What about Tennessee. center? We what, You talk about – you was talking about earlier center. We ain't so looking at center. Center, we got um, what's the name? You center, we got Macari there. You got Macari, yeah. I like that right there, but I like Cam. Cam is Cam is battle tested. Roland says uh, Mumford is a good. A good-